What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Corey Exposed, Carmen, Lied, I don't know. Tea room, let's get it. So it appears that Regine and her boo are no longer together. They unfollowed each other on Instagram, and Regine went on to Twitter to tweet, N words are trash, LOL. And B words will be the bin. Now, Omar Damn. and FOE are being <laughs> exposed by a YouTuber. She first went on to Instagram to put out her messages with Omar. Then she went on to you. <clears throat> you got used. It's okay. Shake back. If I look like spinning on a bitch like you. Damn. <laughs> shake back. It's nothing to shake when I got money, nigga. It's the fact that I'm. Wait, it's the it's the facts. I'm not about to let a dumb a YouTuber like you get the one up on me. Ain't you the ain't you the YouTube? I guess your YouTube. I don't know, but want to use me, LMAO bum a nigga. Same nigga that said I soon be his b word next. This girl can't even spell. I would have had to cut her off. Um, the issue asked me for my baby daddy will never same nigga that wanted to sleep with me too, bro. Carry the F on same issue wearing I got YouTube to post a video. Pack him up. Y'all YouTuber broke a, as a MF, -er. that piece of look mad good. And yeah, it was weird. It is never went to get your haircut. Huh? Did you ever get your haircut? Yeah, this him too. Ain't no fake a story over here. He sounded like one of those broke niggas. Um, pack this YouTuber up. You got to use this. Okay, shake back. In this video, she was claiming that Armar stated a crazy ex came to his house and tried to get in. That's when he called her up. Like, whatever. I'm just let him say what he got to say. So, he didn't tell me the other girl. He didn't tell me who it was. But as he was talking to Jordan, to me, it sounded like it was his ex or whatever. I don't know if it, I know it's not his ex because... I know it's not his ex. Like she, she said it wasn't her, so it wasn't her. So yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know who the girl was, but it was a girl that wasn't even in front of his crib, and he was like, she had to get away from my, in front of my house or whatever because I told someone else. My you y'all, if we're on the phone with each other and you're calling me to tell me these things or this girl's in front of my crib and she's not leaving, me. um, she got to get away from in front of my crib because I'm talking to somebody else. That's given, if we're on the phone, that's given you're talking about me. Because you're not going to call me and tell me she didn't get someone in front of my crib, I'm talking to somebody else. If you're not talking about me, right or wrong. So I'm like, he's like, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm waiting for my niggas to come, Jax. He was talking about Jax and Jordan. Because when we was on FaceTime, I saw Jax and Jordan pull up. So he was like, I'm going to call you back because my niggas are here. So he hung up and... I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just woke up. I'm confused. So I call him back like a minute or two later because I'm just like worrying. So recently, Amar put up a video trying to get his ex Maya back. Now, so this girl actually hit up Maya and let her know what was stated <clears throat> to her by Amar. She goes on to say, "Not snitching. <laughs> she not even the last B. Um, okay." Uh, she said wrong B boo Le LMAO when he was talking to Jordan he said my ex B be tweaking and so that's why I asked thought she was the last B boo um, but heard you me crazy and delusional days been over love or my <laughs> my crazy and delusional days been over love it's so many of y'all to know Amar is too no, he gon' say and do what he won't. Just have your fun with him. Period. I hear you. I wasn't coming off crazy. I'm I just wanted to know, but be good, love. When he was talking to I know I'm reading slow, y'all. I'm a little tipsy. My fault. Alright. And he said my ex B word be tweaking. So that's why I thought you was the last B word boo, but heard ya. Then Maya responds with my crazy and delusional days been over love. It's so many of y'all to know Amar is to know he gonna say and do what he want. Just have fun with him. Then she Fair. stated, I hear you. <laughs> then she says, I wasn't. I like that energy. Coming off as crazy. I just wanted to know, but be 
good love. So I'm definitely thinking this was a girl that Amar may have been casually conversing with. And of course, she's trying to get her name out there. So she's putting out all of these texts and these messages between her and Amar. But this definitely doesn't look good for Amar, especially if he's trying to get Maya back. I mean, I do believe these YouTubers need he's to be a little bit back. more careful with who they're talking to because, of course, everyone is going to try to get clout off of their names. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, Carmen recently put out a statement pretty much confirming that she has split up with Corey yet again. Well, Corey was on live yesterday and he spilt a lot of tea. He even spoke on the Jennifer situation and her alleging that he cheated on his wife with her. Now, this is what Corey had to say. It sounds like he's saying that Carmen has been lying to everyone about everything. Shit, so now it's time for me to really let shit be known what it is. See, I'm dealing with a compulsive liar. I'm dealing with a manipulator. I'm dealing with uh I'm dealing with a with, with, with a lost situation, right? And it's crazy because y'all can see how serious this is. This, why I don't, it, this ain't even for the entertainment. It's for me to finally move on because it's like, all right, cause fuck that shit, gang. You got to do what you got to do, boy. If you don't do what you got to do, this shit here, it go, you go keep looking crazy, my boy. So it's like, you might as well just go on ahead and dead this shit, my boy. Because if you don't, nigga, you, you know you, you keep trying. You keep trying to do the right thing. You keep doing it. But, like, you see that, you know, a person is a problem. So it's like, you got to be the bigger person. Exactly. Thank you, Corey. You know, you got, so thank you. I gotta be the bigger person. So it's like, okay, I'm like, all right, fuck it. At this point, cause you gotta be the bigger person and move according to like what you you stand on, and that's how I'm doing this shit. So it's like a lot of the stuff that has been on the internet, man, that y'all haven't been seeing from another side have been straight lies. All right, and I got all the proof. You don't have to show us the proof. We know. <sighs> Nigga, Karma told us your ass got this. <laughs> Karma told us that you got a room in the same hotel. That's some rude ass shit right there to say. Girl, I wasn't with him. He got a he got a room in the same hotel. I don't I don't be messing with him like that. <laughs> it was hilarious. It's given she wanted some dick that night, but she didn't want to mess with what she had going on with me. She but she was trying to let you see her, you know, y'all's children. She wanted some dick right quick, and you was just. Gave her a little bit of dick and bam, you just, I got my wife back and all this other shit. I'm just, I'm going to listen. <laughs> Prove everything from day one to where everything started. So y'all going to really be able to sit here and y'all going to see like how a person was bold faced, just lying to y'all about everything. Now, on my end, I ain't condone this shit because it's like, I don't got time to keep lying. I'm, I like, you know, ain't no need to lie to, like, like you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real with y'all. Like, this is me talking. This is like, if I was talking to y'all, I'm like, bro, why lie about, like, why lie about everything? You feel me? Like, you ain't doing no. She ain't gonna claim you, cuz. I'm just like, hey, ain't nobody else gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. She was not trying to claim you. Cause you know, I don't know if you remember, you had called her immigrant and shit. So <clears throat> she was a little upset about that. So I think that she knew everybody was going to call her an idiot because not only did you do that, you took her channel and gave it to the doppelganger. So she didn't want, necessarily want everybody to know that she was back with your ass. And you wanted to make everybody or let it be known that you was back with her. Yeah, that's what happened. But create a whole nother can of worm that you're going to eventually have to open. If you just be real and you just be truthful and tell the truth the first time, you ain't got to worry about going back trying to cover no lies. Now, y'all been lied to so bad. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is by a person that y'all was rhyme for so hard. Think about it now. Now, y'all were going against a... Here he go throwing under the bus again. And don't get me wrong, clearly Carmen <laughs> Carmen played this boy. He he's upset. Um 
But Carmen, we're going to go through this again? Because shit. Person, because of what y'all seeing and all y'all emotions being played with, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody think this, that, that, and that when it's not. You feel me? But I'm going to tell y'all something. The whole entire time, y'all are being lied to. Like, dead ass. Because me as a man, I'm going to be real with y'all. And I need every other man to listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might take this. Y'all can take it however y'all want to take it. But you either can get this game or you or you either can just let this game get ran on you. And you will eventually find out your damn self. <laughs> eventually. It's like, yo, no matter how much, you know, you fuck with someone, you know, it's like, as a man, bro, you can't let a person make you lose yourself because you're trying to help find a lost person. No matter how bad you want to help find a lost person, you can't stay and try to help. I'm sorry. I always wonder why a found person would date the lost or date the lost. Most of the time, we all be in the same damn situation, just a different story, literally. A lost person find a lost person. If that lost person don't want to help find themselves, because you eventually going to lose yourself trying to help this lost person that you're trying to help, but they don't want to help themselves. You gonna let them help you make you lose yourself. One thousand percent. And like this ain't nothing for nobody to bash anybody. It's just real life shit. But it's like I see now that all right, well, fuck it. Somebody got to speak up and be the bigger person because at the end of the day, it's like so many lies have been told to y'all. And it's like now people looking and confused and they're like, in order for me to even move in my life with my career, I got to let shit be known for what it really is so I can move the fuck on. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like at this point, I ain't going to keep going on the road. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is this right here. Y'all y'all can really even pay attention and see that I'm really not even saying too much. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to really like, you know, do this shit so mature because I ain't even trying to go down that road no more. But it's just the fact that it's like, all right, hey, well, look, I'm going to just go ahead and put my, my opinion out on this situation because it's like, I'm mature now. It's like, I done learned so much shit over the last past few months, bro. It's like, nigga ain't got time to keep going through the same shit, bro. You feel me? It's like, hey, we grown the hell over here. Real life shit going on out here in the real, bro. It's like, man... You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, somebody got to grow the fuck up, dawg. Like, real shit, bro. And it, it get, certain stuff just get draining because once you go through something the first time, when you're going through it, it ain't going to hold you. You really don't see how draining it is because the moment you're going through it, it just keeps happening. But when you turn around, bro, and you look back, bro, at a lot of the shit that you go through, you'll realize how draining it was and you learn how to move different from it. All right? That's why. <laughs> okay. Like, and on my end, it's like, I'm on this bitch being as vulnerable, trying to just be as as smooth as I can. But, bro, I can't keep doing this shit when I don't be able to, it like, it, it's, it's like, it's. <laughs> uh, only if y'all just knew the real, like, if y'all could just, like, it's like, only if I could just be, like, just understood bro i swear on everything i love i cannot deal with this shit bro so it's like now so okay so it's like now hold up let me let me let me tell y'all let me show y'all something it's like this shit so weird to me bro yeah because i all right i'm ready to see because i'm ready to see how they go play out because um a motherfucker is so manipul manipulative, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. This shit's so crazy. <laughs> uh, bro, this is so crazy, bro. So it's about what seven more minutes of this. I don't want to skip it because I'm I'm trying to get the message here. Um. 
I don't have nothing for y'all yet. We can continue. <laughs> My bad, y'all. It's just, it just so fucking crazy, bro. I need some real niggas in the live, bro. I, <laughs> I need some real niggas in the live. Because it's like black men, black men get high blood pressure easy, so stop stressing. Well, I'm not stressing, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Listen, listen to me. Let me just be real with y'all. Don't take this as me stressing. It's just like, I'm really just like, okay, well, let me be vulnerable with my supporters because it's like, bro, I'm finna move on, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all finna be seeing Corey. Stress free, living my life, you feel me? It's like because I know what's going on behind closed doors. Don't nobody know what's really going on behind closed doors. So it's like the fact that I know the real and I'm dealing with this shit and I'm still seeing like all the fuckery that's going on. It's like, all right, you know what, bro? I'm like, you know what? I pray to God, hey, God, you know what? Like, I'm gonna let God handle this. I'm gonna move. I ain't finna stress. I ain't finna be over here to put myself in the pressure. Like, hell no, nah, you know what? Fuck that man up, boss up. Get your shit together, nigga. Focus on just bending your life. And you know what I'm saying? Just leave it at. You was doing that at first anyway. <clears throat> but you realize grass wasn't that green. Because all of them, everyone that you deal with is just clearly bad. So. And I'm not saying at some point he won't decide, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm going to divorce her or whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they, this is a long cycle. <laughs> Ooh, we have been in this for a minute. Okay. That, but it's like, I got to be vulnerable with my supporters because it's like, damn, bro, I do not want to deal. When y'all see my next few, the way I'm going to move after my birthday, bro, like at the end of the month. And, and, and like me living my life because... I don't want nobody come to me talking about some. You feel me? Because like Corey to try his best. Only God knows. You feel me? Like I'm a real nigga, bro. I sat here. I admit it to a lot of the fuck up that I've done. Because at the end of the day, I'm human. Who the fuck don't fuck up? Who don't make mistakes? And fuck saying mistakes. Who don't make bad choices? Who don't think selfish sometimes? Who don't go through shit? Everybody do. So I ain't even gonna sit on the internet and, and make myself feel bad because of the shit that I've done in my life. It's cool until the woman do it. Y'all can do it, but it's cool until the woman do it. As a human. As you can see, he be up out of there. <laughs> being that I learned from because everybody want to judge me. Fuck that. Y'all can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. Because every last one of y'all, everybody in the world is doing something and that is not right, my nigga, on everything. You know that you're doing it wrong and you got to learn from it. Straight up. So... I have come to the point where I have admitted it. It's like, I get it, bro. It's like, okay, well, I get it. I, I, I learned from it. I'm not doing the same shit. So you can't judge a nigga for some shit he did. Yeah, you can. That's why she shouldn't have never took you back because she can't handle it. People think that, all right, you forgave me, so now she going to forget. No. After you have, after you cheat on a woman and, and, and she just messed up about that, especially in a marriage. It's a rap gang. Yeah, go and wrap that up. That he learned from and he not doing it no more. You so miserable, you're pointing at something old because you can't find nothing new to talk about. It's like, it's God crazy. damn. You, you keep wanting to bring up old shit, but is he? Is the old shit happening right now? No. Hell, he, he, be real, he actually became a better person. So why the fuck y'all still worried about the Nigga, the other day he was just in the car saying y'all worried about the assistant, but y'all ain't worried about the ones that ain't on the camera. Which means you got other hoes. All she doing is showing you her woman's intuition. <laughs> She's just pulling a little you on you and you don't like that. I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, make it make sense, bro. Like, damn. Like, I understand. Then a nigga my make you try, try and make you feel like you delusional. Like, you are the most delusional person on earth. When, in fact, she actually has some common sense at this moment. Now, her dumb ass shouldn't have never went back to you. However, and I'm only saying that because <clears throat> Carmen isn't happy with Cor with Corey. That's so obvious. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. She's not. And hell, he ain't either, for real. But she can't get over everything that he's done. It always comes back up. So she's just going to be putting up with this until she's done with it. I still was on the shit. So me, I'm sitting here, and I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. Watch this. Mama, my Do what y'all going to see. Y'all gonna see a motherfucker get on this internet. And, and it's so funny because it's the same ones that, that kind of when they keep coming on, on, on there and say that they not finna explain themselves. They're not finna do this and do that. But turn around and do exactly that. <laughs> on the internet. 
rather than having the conversation in person, gang. It's like, be adult. Can we talk like human beings? Like, motherfuckers don't want to communicate, but we'll go to the internet and say everything that they haven't said none of you about. And it's crazy. You like, what the fuck is this coming from? <laughs> like, yo, it's like, you can't, I, I, I just can't constantly deal with that type of shit. I'm too grown for this shit, bro. Like, hell nah, bro. And you can go to the internet and talk to a whole bunch of motherfuckers who bash you. They don't give a fuck about you, cuz. And you can't even open your mouth up and really get to the bottom line with the person who's in your face asking you, like, hey, communicate. Tell me what's going on. Let's talk. Like, they get to the bottom of this. All good. Ain't nothing going on. But then they not turn around. I want to commit suicide. What the flying fuck? <laughs> you were just... You were, what? <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. It, it, it just, you know, it might... That girl just lost her friend. He not listening to the message. He ain't gonna listen to it until he really lose somebody. And hey, maybe he have, maybe he deal with it a different way. But um, y'all not hearing each other. And I, I hate that we have to explain these things. And I'm saying that because, you know, they young. They so young. Oh, my God. I just wish all of y'all would just indulge in each other's stuff and just have a time. And granted, safely. <clears throat> but you know i have a time but yeah I, I y'all have gotten so serious it's like oh my god <laughs> but this ain't nothing but me looking at me in my 20s we just all went through the same shit that's it it seemed cool to y'all and that shit might make sense to y'all but it just don't over here bro it's like that shit fucked up it's like i rather i rather you keep it real with me so I don't know, man. Life, life is life, though, guys. Everything good. It ain't nothing bad. You feel me? It just, it just real, bro. It's like I can't keep faking it. Like, yeah, life is life. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep faking it. I'm not gonna keep faking it no more. I've dealt with the person lying so much, and I just have not been seeing nothing because I'm like, well, okay. You know what you're doing or whatever, but it's like it got to the point now where I just feel like a motherfucker is just so comfortable with lying, like it, they they feel good with it, and you know I just can't I can't deal with that. I, don't, I ain't gonna hold y'all like y'all like, y'all might fuck with people so much you don't care about their character. Y'all might don't you might oh I love you so much you fine with how y'all 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 might do all that, but me fuck all that, cuz I can't deal. with I think she'd rather be a liar than to deal with him, and you know the past that they got going on. I think she's chosen that path. <clears throat> with that, you know what I'm saying? That's just me being under with y'all. Like, that shit is ridiculous. And then you're lying to everybody you fuck with. Everybody that fuck with you, you're lying to everybody. So you got everybody confused. Just to announce this, because, you know, the T-Page is always trying to come up with shit. They were like, Carmen found out Corey cheated again. Bro, ain't no cause because of what, what, what Jennifer posted. Bro, Jennifer just came out the blue with that shit. Jennifer just post that shit because y'all in her DMs and you know what I'm saying. And at the end of the day, if I keep it real with y'all, bro, like I was really trying to chill on Jennifer because I really like kind of like I fought with the girl like genuine. Like, bro, you know, she know that it was never nothing for us to be like, bro, this shit was business. You know what I'm saying? We had fun, whatever. Woo -woo. But now like you're you're doing too much. Like at the end of the day, you really were trying to copy Carmen, bro. She literally, literally you literally went viral because you put a picture up saying you look like her. Then she trying to say that I've been trying to talk to her. Like but Carmen's the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I can really show messages, bro. I only hit the girl one time. That was to do a video. Then when we went to Orlando. We went down to Fort Lauderdale. Then we, we, we talked again, but I thought they stole my watch. With somebody, y'all seen the video, somebody stole my AP. But her and the other girl looked very suspicious, you know what I'm saying? So I walk, I ran down on them in the room, woo -woo, trying to see what's going on. They flipped, they tried to make it. Like, I tried to talk to them. Like, bitch, I'm trying to see when y'all stole my goddamn AP that I still ain't got. <laughs> then on top of that, it's like, all right. You know, how can I cheat on somebody that we ain't again? Like, it's just weird. People just be creating drama, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Nobody to fucking cheat nothing, bro. It shit just... It's just weird, bro. I be dealing with someone... Like, bro, I don't know why they even need to be playing with me. Because they know, like, if, if it get down to it, when Corey really get tired, Corey just gonna get on there and tell it all. <laughs> Everybody should know this. No matter how much you like me, you don't like me. It's like, all right, y'all know y'all make Corey mad. Like, he gonna get on that bitch and gonna tell the truth. And the truth is the truth. It's it just simple. Like, y'all know that nigga crazy as hell. 
And and then like because I don't be tripping on a lot of shit, but it's like nah, when, when shit go to get too real, it's like all right, bro, I'm done with the trolling. This is Corey genuine coming like all right, this some real shit now. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, and it ain't you know, it's just like um y'all. I just think that. Carmen ain't going to get over the cheating. So for that, I would divorce her anyway. Um, you took me back. You took me back. And clearly, um, you still feel like I'm cheating on you. So do you. But I would genuinely, like, let it go for both of them. Just let it go. She don't trust you. You don't trust her. You tired of certain things that she does and certain characteristics that she has. Y'all going to have to go ahead and wipe this up, wash it up, wash it off, give her her channel back, and um, let her go on by her business is what I would do. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.